Um, my name is Emmy, and I work with my sister Jessica, and we are Wonderson Fun. <laughs> okay, so the lot we're working on, um, it is on the near east side of Cleveland, uh, near East 55th and St. Clair, and we're actually partnering with the Goodrich Gannett Neighborhood Center, uh, which is right up the street to our east. Um, okay, so the lot is all asphalt, and I believe the dimensions are 260 feet long by a little over 100 feet deep. Um, so I guess it comes to close to three-fourths of an acre. So it's a sizable lot, um, and eventually we'll have most of it covered, I would say at least three-fourths, um, in wood chips and raised, raised garden beds. Um, the site we're working at, the part portion we're working on today is probably, I don't know, 50 or 60 feet by maybe 15 or 20 feet. Not very big, um, but we're hoping to get some beds constructed today. Um, that we can actually plant in. What we're doing right now, um, we have a bunch of folks spreading wood chips to a depth of 20, 21 inches. Um, and the wood chips are just a buffer, basically, between the asphalt, which, I mean, we're not sure exactly what could leach up from the asphalt, but it's petroleum based, so we want to be sure that the growing medium is safe from any chemicals that would leach upward. Um, so that's what the wood chips are doing. And then on top of the wood chips, we're going to put a sizable layer, maybe maybe four inches thick, of cardboard or newspaper. And that is, it's a source of organic matter, first of all, which the worms and other microorganisms will, will break down and kind of mix into the rest of the bed. But we're also hoping that it serves to stop the quick drainage of water, like through the wood chips, from the, the beds above. Um, and then on top of that, we're going to do a layer of fresh food waste, which we collect from restaurants. Um, and then we'll inoculate that with some, some garden soil or finished compost. Um, and then straw, which provides aeration and more organic matter. And then we'll, we'll layer that, we'll do that layer maybe one or two more times. And then we'll finish with a layer of sifted compost. Um, which will be our seed bed, basically, which is a nice planting medium um, for seeds to go into. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, and of course, along the way, we'll be mixing in worms um, and semi-finished compost that they can start start munching on right away. Um, so those are the layers that we're working with today. I'm here to say thank you to all the gardeners and volunteers who came out today to turn this abandoned uh, parking lot, asphalt lot, into uh, something beautiful and something that gives back to the community. We'd like to see this uh, expand. Uh, we want to see more of these throughout the city. Uh, we were actually thrilled that so many of the gardeners who are here right now were part of the reason why, the main reason, the only reason why the city of Cleveland actually changed its zoning code to allow for uh, urban gardens. Uh, it's the only city in the country that currently has a zoning classification for gardens. We think it's that important. If uh, City Hall were a church, zoning is its sacraments. And so what we try to do is to uh, show the uh, value that we have for gardens by creating a zoning classification so that if anyone ever wants wanted to change this garden after we zone it as a garden, it would have to have public notification through all the neighborhood so that people would know. Because this is very important to people in the city. We need to get back to our roots, so to speak, and having a garden instead of an asphalt parking lot is just a, a triple blessing. It's a blessing because we don't have the runoff that we have when you have just surface parking. It brings people together. It really breaks down the division that occurs. And in my opinion, it makes the, the area a much safer, more attractive place. You've got things growing instead of a vacant lot. And we can't say enough on behalf of of Council President Martin Sweeney and Mayor Frank Jackson, how excited we are that the volunteers have come here today to bring life back to this patch of Cleveland. Oh, no. 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 Oh,